a circle too. Hey everybody, Eric Swanson from Duraburg here in Orange County, Central Florida, and today we're back at KDK Performance, home of the Buick Grand Nationals for Central Florida, with another dyno run for what we call a super single race Suburban. Now this is a uh, 2007 Suburban. We'll take a look and get a little better acquainted with it. It's a 2007 Suburban. It's powered with a 2008 LML, or excuse me, LMM. And as you can see, under the hood, it's, um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We do have the, uh, the 68 millimeter supersized turbo in there, so we did make that upgrade. It does also have a S&B cold air induction system that's standard on any of our stage two and, and uh, higher motors. It also has the four inch exhaust. And of course, because of this setup, the client's got the 11 and a half inch rear end in it and it has a lift pump on it. So everything in the motor is, is stock. Now, Rob is gonna go ahead and fire this beast up and we're gonna go ahead and make a pull on stock mode and see what we get. Our dyno is all set. We're gonna actually sit back and watch the show. Looks really good. We have a real nice, clean, 300 horsepower, and we've got right at 550 foot-pounds of torque. So, looks really good. Now you got to remember, this is a 20% loss from the engine due to the running gear. So, this engine stock should be right around 365 and 600 foot-pounds, and so it looks like we're right on the money. We're we're losing that 20% in our number, and everything looks good. Now, Rob's going to go ahead and switch us to stage 5, and we're going to go for full-on race. Now, let's see what a 68 millimeter turbo can do to a Duramax. see rather impressive we have a very very nice clean 500 horsepower curve here and we have a perfect 750 foot pound hoop right there so what you're looking at here is a 600 horsepower truck that plants in excess of 800 foot pounds of torque through the motor putting 750 foot pounds on the ground that makes for a great e-ticket ride. Well, my name is Eric. Say thanks to the folks at KDK for letting us have the time to flog their dyno. We're off to the shop.